What is a Mooney? Well, a Mooney is a person who believes that uh, humans never stepped on the moon. Okay? So we have these Moonies, and um, I can only tell you that, you know, they gave me a little tinge of doubt when I found out uh, how Neil Armstrong answered in that, um, uh, he gave, uh, th there was a, um, a uh, what is it, uh, conference, and he talked to all the um, uh, people from the press, okay, and he was not very gung-ho about him having stepped on the moon. And that made me wonder about Neil Armstrong, you know, I thought that was kind of strange. But uh, just because he was strange, it doesn't mean I'm going to throw the baby with the wash water. You know, it doesn't mean I'm not going to believe uh, that man did not go to the moon. And I'm saying that the best way to deal with this subject, for people who are rational on both sides of the issue, because there are people who simply don't believe, but I think they are quite rational anyways. But this is the issue. The issue is, why don't we uh, sink our teeth into something that we can all verify to some degree? And that is the ISS, the International Space Station. It's flying around 15 times a day, every hour and a half, around the world, okay? And anyone who's got a pair of binoculars or a telescope should be able to follow the path that is published by NASA and locate that thing up in the air, okay? You should be able to focus, especially on a clear day, you should be able to focus and see the ISS out there. Now, if you can focus your binoculars or your telescope on the ISS, you'll realize that that is a big monster. You know, this is not a little two-by-four toy that they sent out. It's not a little balloon. You're talking about a monster that, uh, out there that's flying around the Earth. And so the question is, how did they put that thing up there? Did they take uh, one day, just said they had a headache, and they said, well, I don't need to send a rocket with all this stuff up there. Is that how they did it? No, there had to be steps, many steps, before they could build that thing up there, this monster, and make it orbit around the Earth. And if we have the technology to send piece by piece up there over a period of 10 years, build the ISS up there, and make it orbit the Earth, then uh, you have to say, well, it's not all fake news. Okay? And it's not like you should believe anything. You should throw the baby out with the wash water. There is something out there, and we have to identify it. If you identify it, you have to believe that there were steps that humans took to get that thing up there in the air. Okay, so one fellow says, uh, says that we could reproduce some of this stuff in Hollywood. Okay, so he says the following, JFK boldly proclaimed to the world the U.S. would successfully put a man on the moon and return him, so, uh, return him safely to Earth before the end of the decade, uh, in the 60s, right? And he did it, okay? Uh, or apparently uh, that was the goal, right? Charged with executing that mission, it would be a dereliction of duty not to game out what failure might look like. Dead U.S. astronauts orbiting the moon on, or Earth for decades is a scenario to be avoided at all costs. Okay, he says, if the best in the 1960s had the know-how to put a man on the moon, Hollywood's best of the uh, era could realistically recreate the successful mission. Always have a plan B. Yeah, I'm not saying that you could not reproduce this in Hollywood. Maybe not at the time. I'm not so sure they could reproduce what I showed the other day, which was Buzz, Buzz Aldrin, you know, flipping, uh, uh, what was it, a flashlight around? I'm not sure they could have done that in 1969 in Hollywood or in the best of studio on Earth. But let's concede it. Let's forget about challenging it. Let's concede it. I said it the other day. Uh, everything that we've done on the moon can be just as well be done in Hollywood. We're done. Uh, I'm on record, okay? So how do you distinguish the real thing from the fake one? How do you distinguish uh, whether it was done in Hollywood or whether it was done on the moon? And the answer is you probably can't. Not today, at least. Especially, you know, when you look at everything in retrospect. And so all you can have is some... Uh, some conspiracy theory saying, well, the government's fooling us, they did this, they did that, why did they hide this, why did the tape disappear, and why is the shadow here wrong, and you can do a million uh, analysis, okay? And the question is, you're always going to end up with the same uh, answer. The answer is, we could have just as well done it in Hollywood as on Earth. And does that mean that we did not go to the moon? So that's the question for you to ponder. Okay, here's uh, another file he put, uh, the Columbia impersonators. Columbia was the one that blew up in the air, okay, up there, never made it. And all these people, they say, are still alive. They got their names. Uh, they say their faces are very similar. And so this is what they put out. And so, yeah, all you can do is talk about conspiracies. That's about it. Um, this does not prove anything, but this is what people dwell upon. You know, they say, uh, oh, I saw this person again. They think this is like 9-11. Uh, 
where uh, some of the pilots ended up being alive in Saudi Arabia, you know, and then the, the U.S. government said, well, uh, same name. <laughs> okay, also a pilot, you know, just by sheer coincidence. A very common name like Smith, you know. Okay, I don't know. Uh, uh, a lot of this stuff is fakery on the people who actually put the pictures out there, but people never investigate where the pictures came from. And so, you know, what have we learned? We haven't learned anything just by looking at these pictures and saying, oh, they're still alive. Are you sure? Or are you going to believe the guy who put the pictures out there, did you ask him where he got them? I mean, you know, you can go on and on. Okay, another fellow says, the ISS, we see something in the sky, sure, but how can we verify what it is? Okay, let's start with its altitude. How do we do that? I don't think people deny that you see something. The thing in question is if the thing you are seeing is ISS, where the ISS footage is recorded from, uh, or I guess he was asking a question there, I guess. Anyways, he says, which is highly unlikely as it's kind of demonstrated that they are mixing several different techniques together. And again, uh, all I can tell you is, uh, you know, is there an ISS? First of all, please verify that first before you open your mouth because we can talk all day about, you know, conspiracies and we're not interested in that per se. Uh, the first thing we want to establish, is there an ISS to begin with out there that everyone can verify at home or maybe with some friend who's got a telescope or whatever? You can verify this. And if it's out there, you got, at least you, you, you block that base. You say, I covered that base, okay? So it's, it's either out there or it ain't. One of the two, it can't be both, okay? And that's something anyone can verify out there without you know, just spinning their wheels. And so this is where I, I ask people to start. Start by saying, is there an ISS? If there is, we can go to the next step and say, are there people in the ISS? Are they floating around? And here's uh, one fellow who's dead set against that. He says, uh, there's a problem with safety, especially you know, with a, a lady there who uh, let go of the bubble of water, and then she swallows it. And this fellow says, oh, how could you do that? That's so dangerous. It could kill them all. And another person says, you know, I think it's this one also, uh, says that you know, someone could perforate you know, one of these stones uh, that the sun throws at us together with the solar wind and throws the stones at us. It goes right through the ISS and suddenly you have a leak. And these people are even without helmets in there. They would instantly die. Why would they be without helmets, without spacesuits, without anything inside inside the ISS when it's so dangerous, when anything can go wrong, you know? And it says, how long do the astronauts have to get into a pressured suit if the ISS has a leak? In other words, let's, let's say something suddenly punctures the ISS. Do they have time to put their helmets on and all this? In fact, I think when they sleep, they even take their suits off. You know, they, they kind of sleep standing up, you know? Obviously, we don't know. However, there is a person who decided to discuss the issue, the issues of pressure and possible failures with anyone who wanted to listen. He was quite firm that there was something amiss with the safety procedures on the ISS. Okay, um, uh, do you put a helmet on or even a parachute when you go on an airplane? I mean, you know, something, anything can happen on an airplane. In fact, I think it's more likely to happen on an airplane than out there in space where you have, um, you're almost, well, you've got a lot more vacuum up there, right? You're in a level of vacuum much higher than the Earth. So here on Earth, you know, just about anything can hit a plane. In fact, there's been planes that have been uh, hit by birds, flock of birds that went into the engines. You know, they've, they've had all kinds of problems uh, with birds. Uh, but anything can, you know, a stone out of nowhere, you know, volcano maybe erupting somewhere and throws a stone at the airplane. Suddenly it goes at such speed that it punctures, you know, the wall of the airplane. Are, are you prepared to put a helmet on? Or are you going to wait for the mass to come down? Or, you know, I mean, what, what procedures are there? And again, I'm saying that, you know, the likelihood of, likelihood of that happening is so remote that I don't think the astronauts have to worry about it, especially about drinking water, you know, a bubble of water floating around. Someone in there said, you know, it's incredible that she would have that. You know, it could oxidize the, the wires and everything. I mean, come on. <laughs> what are these people thinking about? Okay, uh, and then another fellow talks about the construction of the ISS. He says, the ISS is, a, is the biggest marble construction of humankind and no video evidence of its construction exists. Um, first of all, they built it over 10 years. That's the official version. You don't have to believe it. Maybe it's fake news, but that's, that's what they say. It's built over 10 years. I'm not sure they're going to take the trouble to go up there and, with a camera and say, okay, Joe, uh, what are you going to put today? I'm going to put the left wing. <clears throat> okay, so they put the left wing and the guy films it. Then the next day they do something else. Then, uh, then you have to think about, you know, the fact that they took a lot of these parts with the shuttles. So the shuttle went up there, took the part, and then came down. And so they're going to film every little trip up there for every little part that they built on the ISS. I mean, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think, I, I don't know. I'm not sure it's, uh, 
at least I, I don't think it's an argument against the building of the ISS. But yeah, maybe there is, maybe some part was filmed, I don't know. Maybe there, there is a film of one of the parts or maybe the uh, original part that they put up there. I can't tell you. But I don't think it uh, denies that there's an ISS up there. Again, don't, don't tell me how it was built. Tell me if there is something up there to begin with. Because if there ain't, then we don't have to worry about uh, anything related to the ISS. Okay, another fellow says, show me a full orbit of the ISS, uninterrupted film from on board. He wants the guy 24 hours, or uh, I'm sorry, it'd be an hour and a half because it's every 15 minutes, and the guy filming around, right? Well, we can do that in Hollywood. In fact, they did say that uh, the Apollo 11 trip was filmed, I mean, one of the arguments out there, one of the theories, you know, uh, one of these um, people who objects, who thinks it's a hoax, they said that it was filmed in Houston, where they have this globe that they made of the moon, which they built exactly like the moon with all the surface features, etc., which they uh, filmed when we sent the lunar orbiters up there. So we filmed that from everywhere, from every side. We filmed the moon even from the dark side. They built this globe, which is an exact replica uh, you know, of the moon, and they could have filmed there as well. So we can do the, the same thing with the Earth. I'm sure we can film all around the globe, uh, that we have in front of us and say, oh, this is from the ISS. <laughs> so, I mean, how can you tell the difference between the guy who films it from the ISS and the guy who films it uh, here on Earth? I mean, would that prove to him that there is an ISS out there? Okay, so again, you know, a lot of these arguments uh, don't hit the mark. They don't hit the mark because I think what you got to do is first determine whether there is an ISS floating up there, you know, orbiting the Earth. And if there is one, well, at least we, we covered first base. Then the next question is maybe, you know, another of the questions would be, are there people working in there floating around in uh, not zero gravity because you still have gravity, but remember that thing is, flo you're floating in that thing because again, you have no, no gravity against the walls or anything. You're not kicked around, okay? So uh, again, uh, first let's determine those two. And then whatever argument you come up with against Apollo 11 having landed on the moon, the issue is, is there a difference? Can you tell me the difference between landing on the moon for real and doing it in Hollywood? If you can tell me the difference, hey, I'll give you a million bucks. I'll buy you a beer. Okay? If you can't tell me the difference, well, then you don't have an argument against the uh, fact that we did not land on the moon.